Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here, popping in. I been working from the bed today. Had a couple calls, and I'm uh, I'm fasting. I'm on a 24-hour water fast. Well, the first 24 hours. I'm not sure how long I go. I just listen to my body. So right now, I haven't felt hungry at all. You know, I ate yesterday, and I ate, you know, kind of bad just kind of you know eating with my son or whatever he wanted Popeyes so I had some Popeyes and you know that morning I had eggs and bacon which wasn't too bad and then just some water throughout the day but then hit hit that Popeyes and then came home and was eating you know messing around with my wife she wanted some Domino's lesson I've learned from my wife is like you know live life you know everybody got to die and there's people who run five miles a day and die at 60. Just some come upon them, you know, they have cancer or something else. And then there's people who live a normal life and, you know, eat their cultural food and live to 90. It's like we all got a day to go and we just got to make sure we ain't trying to do our best to shorten it. Well, we was talking today and my, my 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 wife's grandma on her mom's side is kind of starting to go through a little bit and she 90 years old and then her grandma on her dad's side she passed away when she was 90 but she passed away after like complications from a knee surgery and so that's been you know still painful for my wife what we were talking about that like you know had she not had those complications from that knee surgery she seemed like she could have lived to a hundred and but for me I've been fasting I'm you know getting healthier and it's helping me a lot and it's hard because you know when you fast or whatever and when you go back to eating you want to eat you want to overeat but one of the biggest things that you learn in life is about discipline and it's something that I'm learning and I feel like, you know, I, I turned 40 years old March 8th, and I, I've been calling this my billionaire era because this is where I, you know, for the next 40 years, 40, 50 years, probably really 40 years, I'll make my run toward doing everything I can to be a billionaire. And to be honest with you, it's not about the money because I already earn enough to do anything in the world that I want to do like I tell people all the time once you hit like 500 500,000 a year when, when I hit 500,000 a year I mean it probably was a decade ago it, you, it's really nothing that you can't do at 500,000 a year because what you have to realize is you know our, our lives we set up to be like uh, osteopathic doctor or whatever that is surgeon is like the highest college degree gonna get you and that's like 400k a year and that's before taxes so when you get the 500,000 a year as an entrepreneur there's really nothing you can't do like you could fly on a private jet you could get on a yacht you can you know get approved for a 1.5 million dollar house course you could get more house than that if you have been saving money you know for however long to get you in a two million dollar house or what have you so it's like it's, it's not you could get approved for any kind of car you want to drive so it's not like this goal is for the money and it's not that i will hit the goal either it just as a man who is 100 percent faithful to my wife it give me something to focus on. It give me something to pursue. Outside of loving my family and being solid and stable for my family, not being a drunk, not not getting high, not watching porn, not masturbating, not cheating on my wife, it give me something that's harmless to pursue. And it also what happens is I know if I'm shooting for a billion, I'm I'm most likely gonna catch a hundred million. But at that, my the people I need to reach gonna listen. 
we always talk about reaching the men and reaching the men, reaching the men. But one thing about it, a man, a man on a respect, really, your average man respect success. Like if you got money, you could get any man in the world to listen to you. Now it's men like myself. There's a strand of men like myself who already respect me because we don't really focus just on money. Like we'll listen to somebody with money, but we really look at the lifestyle. We look at the integrity, we look at the character. But one thing I'm learning with this fasting and then coming from fasting and then, so like at 190 pounds, I feel good. After eating bad yesterday, and eating three days in a row, I weighed in this morning at 189. So I'm like, man, after eating and not eating the best, I'm still under my goal weight of 190. Like, I feel perfectly fine at 190. You know, look good, feel good, everything. But I'm gonna go for 180 because when I got married, I was like 170. But I'm gonna go for 180 just because it give me a little bit of more room. Like when I go on vacation and stuff, we're going on vacation later this month little couples trip and then we're gonna have a few other vacations this summer in July and so I just want to make sure that when I'm eating and I'm living you know I could do so and not put on too much well I could put on and not be back to square one but one of the things I'm learning is discipline like right now you know my wife's stomach was kind of hurting because she hadn't ate in a little while and she need to eat a little more regular and so i'm going to pick up some carabas carabas send me a check going to pick up some carabas for us so i'm gonna have to end this video in a second because i gotta click the check in button when i get there but i'm going to get her some carabas and i'm gonna be smelling that and you know and i'm gonna want me some and she already done cooked some salmon for me and my son and I want that salmon, but hey, you know, I got a goal. So it's hard when you laying in the bed with your wife and she finna be smacking on some good old pasta in that bed. And I'm laying there, ain't doing nothing but drinking some water. I just been drinking water all day. I ain't had no electrolytes or nothing like that. I don't need none of that. Cause I'm, you know, I'm fine. And so that make it hard. And eat up some food for her this morning. She eat her cheesy bread and her Alfredo pasta and <laughs> all them carbs. But, you know, it make it hard because when you're in love, you already want to do what your partner doing anyways. But what I'm learning through this process is discipline. And the number one thing that I see that we don't have as humans is discipline. Like when I look around and doing what I do as a coach, the number one thing I see is if we had more discipline, if we could get real discipline, everything we want in life, we'll get it. Everything we want in life, we'll get it. I see that man was crying, wiping his eyes pretty intensely. We'll get it, but you gotta be disciplined and it takes daily discipline and you gotta do a little something every day okay i'm gonna remember this hotel when somebody come in town this ain't far from me at all okay nice too nice area yeah remember this and daily discipline and just start with one discipline just start with one thing and make a slight change start with that one thing make a slight change and then go from there because the issue is that we that we face is we try to do too much and we try to do too much all at once and that's what messes us up when you try to do too much so you got to take okay they got one more office space you got to take and instead of trying to do the world's most you take and you just do one little thing like let's say let me give you an example bedtime 10 30. phone down 9 30 bedtime 10 30. and you do that seven days in a row after you get through seven days stretch it stretch it one more stretch oh i ain't got to go. Hi, up here, Tony. yes all right 
right. It's going to be 44.05. All righty. Thank you. And did you want the kids drink? It's, it was under kids water. Did you want a kids drink? You say it was a kids water? Yes. Just a water? Yeah. Uh, no. That's cool. Okay. All right. Are you sure you don't want like a Sprite or anything for like the road home? Um, do you have Coke? Yes, we do. Okay. I'll do that. Thank okay. you. y'all forgive me for that coke but me and my wife we not the same so she get her a coke and she take about two three sips of it so i just got that because she like last night she had one with her pasta and cheesy bread but see the thing about it is she'll eat like that but she don't eat a lot she'll literally have one cheesy bread and then talking about put it up for me till tomorrow but see, as a grown man, I can't get no cheesy bread. I ate, I ate some of it with her last night. I had three or four of them. So see, you got to know yourself. But this is what I mean by daily discipline. Is so you start with one thing in an area that you need to work on. So let's say you drinking your calories. Well, if you drinking your calories, then you need to go to just water. And in the beginning, it may be hard. So going from drinking lemonade, sweet tea, Diet Coke, Coke, Sprite, whatever your drink of choice, your mango juice and all this that you're drinking at, at the desk, you may have to go to water with a little bit of the, the little flavor that's in there that's like no sugar or what have you. And y'all speaking of i'm working on a company i'm gonna get back to the, this my commercial break i'm working on a company and i'm gonna the product i'm gonna do a thousand of them and i'm gonna need your support just to show people who don't look like me that we could do this too in this space in this industry all right thank you so much for it. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your night. All righty. You too. Y'all forgive me. Put that card up. And so, coming out with it. So, y'all get your bot. Get your bot $40. Set it to the side for me. Because I want to do... I want to do a record. You know, I want it to be a record that we go ahead and hit. I'm going to post about it, then I'm going to re-up. Just to show, you know, cross the aisle, you know, that we could do this here thing. And we're going to have some, because the reason why, let me get back to what I was saying, but we're going to talk about the discipline, which you already get it. Man, I almost closed out. You already get where I'm going on the discipline situation. But let me tell you something reason why i'm finna push so hard because you you live in our world and i know it's easy to say oh no you already got a voice oh people already listen but no you got to have signs and wonders so me being married that's not no sign and wonder because anybody could do that so signs and wonders what people looking is if you build success yeah i could be a me now but that ain't nothing because people doing that People, you know, I watched the lady make a million dollars in 30 minutes selling makeup on Black Friday. So <laughs> that ain't, they ain't all that impressive no more. But now when you could be worth a hundred million, 400 million, half a billion, a billion, now we talking. So guess what? Imagine when I hit that hundred million and I could get on any interview I want to get on about my companies. Cause I'm gonna have multiple companies and just about my mindset, about my grind. But guess what they hear? They hear I'm married. And then they see I'm faithful because it's gonna be women trying to holler at me and they're gonna be getting turned down and ignored.
And they're like, dang, he faithful. So when I say I'm faithful, it's going to prove it because ain't nobody going to be able to come out with no expose. I'm not going to be at no ditty parties and all of this here nonsense. I'm not going through no divorce and all of that. Like some of the pastors, some of y'all pastors and stuff, doing. I ain't even doing what some of the pastors doing. I'm going to be cleaner than the pastors. And so the youth going to see that. These kids going to see that. My generation going to see that. The other generation going to see that. Everybody going to see that and be like, man, okay. So you mean to tell me you could be a devout Christian? So a lot of times people get money and they're atheists. No, you, you could be a devout Christian. You could be a man of God. Be faithful. Have one woman. Flaunt that woman. Show that woman off and be successful. So I'm going to change the recipe for success. And so that's the goal of it. And that's that's why I'm doing it. It ain't about the money. I already got money. I already live an amazing life. It's really about the signs and wonders. It's really about the platform. And so that's why I decided to keep my mentor.life too. Because that just add to the portfolio. So y'all, I, I don't be liking all them opinions. But y'all throw y'all two cents out there. I had to go off on you. But then when I thought about it. And I talked to my daddy about it. He was like, yeah, man, keep it. That money ain't going to change your life. So just keep it and just let it run. You know, it's doing what it's doing. If you ever, if you're in college or you got somebody in college and they need an internship, then send them on over to me. They can intern for my mentor.life doing running the social media or some or working in marketing, working in working in something development and just put it on their resume and i'm gonna tell you this when i write somebody a recommendation letter so when they go for their 60k 60k a year job 80k 100k a year job when i write somebody a recommendation letter i ain't never wrote a recommendation letter i ain't never gave a recommendation that the person didn't get hired because when they look me up they know oh wow okay we got hired this person working with this man here because they because the people because i'm a black man they give the person i gave a recommendation letter credit for building me they don't realize that god built me and i ain't have no help doing it just me and god i didn't have a staff they don't realize that when i write somebody a recommendation letter so they go ahead and you know give them that job and i, I done had people work for me for one day and ask for a recommendation letter because they know that is going to hold some weight. So y'all need some intern for my mentor dot life. Go on ahead. And if you're in Central Florida area, then I, you know, put all y'all in an office. Y'all can brainstorm. I, I buy you some food every now and then, but I ain't got no budget. Not yet. But on this next company, I'm starting finna have an old budget. But back to what I was saying. This right here is discipline. So hey, I'm realizing, I'm like, man, this is crazy. I did not know this is what I'm trying to tell you. I did not know that God was going to have me doing what he got me doing. So all of a sudden it came into like, I came, it, something came over me about health and wellness. And it was crazy because last year when something came over me by health and wellness or the year before, I can't remember when it was, when I did the show that ended up on MTV something came over me by health and wellness and i had like lost some weight and started working out and then boom i get an email about being on this tv show and then right now i go into this health and wellness kick then i come back home and i get this idea last month or early yeah in may about this company then boom i start the company in the same month but this company could be a hundred million dollar company and god just dropped on me but he dropped it on me after I lost 10 to 20 pounds because I didn't really weigh before I started my weight loss. I didn't weigh, so I didn't know what, what my highest was, but the highest I seen myself on the scale was 208. So I know I had to be at least there at some point, but I could have ate, so I could have been 205, really 204, something like that. So to get down to 185, I done seen 186, I think, on the scale. So I done lost 20 pounds. And give or take five pounds so for the lord to do that and then i lose that weight then boom i get this idea i'm like my goodness look what the lord doing that's how it works but see in order to be sensitive to the spirit you got to be healthy that's why apostle paul said he buffed his body 
because to be sensitive to the spirit, you got to be healthy because a lot of times I be telling people, people like, oh, I had a dream. I think it was from God. I'm like, Ch child, that was indigestion. God ain't talking to you when you unhealthy. God ain't giving you no visions and all of that when you unhealthy other than to get healthy. But he can't even reach you. He can't, he can't even reach you because you got too much sugar clouding your brain. You got too much salt clouding your brain. You got too much carbs clouding your brain. You got too many late nights, too much toxicity, too much drama, too much arguments, too much clouding your brain. So you got to get healthy spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all of that right there. And then the Lord can use you. Then he can talk to you. So with this discipline, just create you a daily discipline. So right now I'm fasting. And, and the reason I'm fasting right in front of my wife and all of that right next to her. And she would ask me like, hey, you hungry? You gonna eat something? Like, no, nah, I doubt it. I said, if I get hungry, I eat, but I'm straight. So if I'm straight, like my body go to getting famished and all that, I go to, you know, stuff go to happen and then i'm listening to my body okay boom i need to eat but right now i feel full as a tick i ain't ate nothing it's just because my body is giving me what i need on this hill fast and i know tomorrow i'm gonna wake up lighter and i'm gonna go as long as i can tomorrow and i don't have any lunch or dinner meetings because when you're fasting a lot of people what they do wrong is they try to be special nobody should know you fasting like in real life like I'm telling y'all because I'm a teacher and this is what I do on here is teach and share my life. But like, I, if I'm fasting right now and I gotta do a breakfast tomorrow, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna break the fast because I could get right back on the fast right after it. But I'm gonna break the fast. I'm not gonna go to a dinner, breakfast, or lunch and be like, oh, I'm fasting, trying to look special and alienating and, and all of that. It's like, you got to, you still got to live a normal life when you're doing this stuff. And so you can't be letting people see you sweat. And you just got to be creative. So instead of going to lunch with your friends, say, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I am ai got to take a call. Or I'm going to step to the car. And you just go into the car so you ain't got to sit in the cafeteria and eat like you normally do. But you still got to live normal. A lot of times people do stuff and want to be so special about it and want to turn it into attention-seeking behavior, which this got to be for you in your real life it got to be for you and then if somebody asks you what you're doing okay now nah, that's your testimony now you get to share it so then you go ahead and you share it you hit a little bit of my water so you go ahead and share that and you helping them out but it's about discipline and so the Lord, because of the company he gave me, it go hand in hand with me being healthy. It go hand in hand with my wife being healthy. So both of us done lost weight. She done lost 40 pounds, I done lost 20 pounds. And so now we extending our health and wellness brand into another company that deal with health and wellness. And you gonna see it, a lot of times people talk about it, you got to be about it. You gonna see it come to fruition you are gonna see it so understanding that that's another lesson don't talk about it be about it go ahead and make it happen what you trying to do what this car doing because the speed limit 30 i'm going 15 okay they're about to turn I'm like y'all got to get y'all life together now it must be a teenage they teach how to drive and it's time and listen this is the thing what i try to tell you like i don't believe that i'm special i don't believe that god loved me more than he loved anybody else i don't believe that i believe like the bible say that god have no respect of persons that's what i believe so me believing that i'm kind of like you know what if he could do it for me, he could do it for anybody. So don't let don't don't let me lose 20 pounds and then start a another million dollar company if you slaving on a dead end job. 
but you serve the same God. You got to do what you got to do so God could do his perfect work in and through you. But if you complacent with the body you in, with the mind you in, with the toxic relationship you in, if you complacent, God can't do what he got to do. You got to get in position so God could do what he got to do. But you got to do you. You got to do your work. So imagine I come out with this company. For one, I wasn't metabolically healthy. So the ideas that I'm having for the three companies that I want to start, I wouldn't have had those ideas had it not been for me increasing my mental health by increasing my physical health, which also increased my emotional health. It has made me more secure, more confident, more stable, more emotionally intelligent, all of this. And so you got to start fasting. Start with four hours, then go to eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, 20 hours, 24 hours. Like just do what you can do and get the gains that you can get. Cause that's what you got to do. And then you just go from there. And so here I am. Cause think about it. You're going to have more clarity. You're going to have more strength. So you're going to get a place. You start getting healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Now you're going to start having ideas. And then now you got to invest in yourself. See me, I've learned how to use Google. So yes, I'm going to make some mistakes. But I've made so many mistakes, I've learned how to minimize my mistakes. So I know how to start a company from scratch using Google. If you've never started a company and you haven't been an entrepreneur, then you may need to sign up with me for coaching or get them a year of coaching program because we launch brands in that program. And you may have to make a larger investment in yourself because you don't have the knowledge and the skill set that you need. Like today, a lady signed up, she got a smaller book. so. I only charge her 2000 to help her get her book out there. My other client, you know, charged 2500 and we doing her book. She had already wrote it, but i am got the editing and the formatting and the cover done in like a week, two weeks. And now we about to publish tomorrow. Her deadline was, is June 7th. And she came to me with less than a month. But because I do this, I'm able to, produce a book in less than 30 days so what i'm saying is make the investment you got to make in yourself to do what you got to do if you don't have the knowledge and the skill set that you need to do it but it's time to get healthy to start to discipline yourself learn the discipline i'm sitting right here i'm gonna hit 30 minutes and then i'm gonna open my garage and go on in Get the discipline you need and start to develop daily. You have to come out of complacency. You got to come out of complacency and you got to get into an action mode and start taking action and really start to do what need to be done so that you can flourish. And this is this the season we going into. And I'm going to lead by example. You finna see the company i roll out and the, yeah, i'm gonna listen to the spirit and the lord say sit there sit there stay there then i'm gonna stay there i got another company i'm working on that i showed on the blessed business tribe i didn't make it to the public because I, I i owe that to the blessed business tribe and to the patreon because they pay monthly to get extra knowledge so i didn't put it on the main channel here for you know stragglers and everybody to see even though i got supporters who not in the blessed business tribe and patreon my patreon patreon.com forward slash tony gaskins i'm trying to provide more content there but i really appreciate y'all on patreon because you could be just in the blessed tribe blessed business tribe but you're on the patreon so trust me i'm gonna crank that up i'm just carving out the time and i'm gonna be doing more exclusives on patreon as well it's just I've been serving so many people, but I'm almost through that season. Probably about the end of July, August, probably by the end of August, I'm going to be done 
with one-on-one -on -one calls and doing that so much and i'm gonna be investing more into my video content into my production may even throw in a podcast and different things but we finna ramp it up i'm finna go to the next level so i'm gonna lead by example and you're gonna see what i'm doing it's another company i want to start that i might be able to start too i might be able to start it but i'm gonna see and we're gonna make some happen but it's really expensive that company costs hundreds of thousands to get off the ground but i'm gonna see if i can find another way to get it going but hey they tony gaskins god bless you i'm gonna finish this up lord willing tomorrow but i'm gonna upload this so you should see this tonight on june 3rd before midnight god bless you we'll talk soon